Alright, what is going on everybody? Welcome back here today to another NBA 2K18 My League Rebuilding Challenge and it's gonna be the worst to first rebuilding challenge. So I did one of these probably in like back in October. This used to be my favorite challenge on 2K. I started doing these I believe in 2K16 and it basically goes as this. So I simulated one season started in My League. I think I'm controlling the Sixers. We simulate a season, right? Now we go to the standings and we see what team had the worst record. So it was the 21 and 61 Atlanta Hawks. So I'm going to go here to my league automation. We're going to go and we're going we're to control the Hawks for this season. Now we're going to go through the, the offseason. And we're going to simulate one season and make this Hawks team try to win it all. We're trying to go worst in the NBA to best in one season. So draft picks, they might not really have a big case on this team. I got to sign free agents who's ever available. Because I got to win it all next year or try to. And then... At the end of that year, say we're the Hawks and we get bounced in the second round. Once we get bounced, I do the same thing. I go see who had the worst record. Say it was the the Knicks. The Knicks had 20 wins next year. I control the Knicks and we do the same thing. Rinse and repeat for three seasons. If you guys enjoy these, let me know uh, by leaving a like on this video. If we can get 1,500 likes, I will do one of these uh, soon because I, I miss these. I know you guys used to like with the uh, like these a lot too. So... Without further ado, let's get here into the offseason with this Hawks team. So, we do have Dennis Schroeder, who's actually very cheap for a point guard right now, but I think I might have in mind what I want to do, because this is the only offseason we get with this team, actually, before... No, I think I've downloaded the draft quest. So, we end up getting picked two, so we don't get screwed over that much. Let me just make sure this is, like, the right draft class, because that would suck. Okay, yes. Yeah. So, staff signing, let's get a good coach like D'Antoni. Like, we have one year with this team. Um, I guess we can get Jimmy Lynch. I mean, we'll get three training camps here. And, I mean, like, if Paul George, like, he's probably at the number, at, like, top of my list. Like, if we can get, like, Paul George and, like, DeAndre Jordan here, that would be nice. So, what I want to do here is I think we can work this out. I will give you our pick, these two first, and Dennis Schroeder. Will the Charlotte Hornets give me Kemba Walker for this? They do. Okay, so we land our point guard, Kemba Walker, who's only making 12 mil. And he's not my problem next year because this is the only year we're going to be using this team. We have Tareen Prince, but I don't know if he's starting. Um, Collins, I do like a power forward. So what I would want, like to do now is move any of these poor contracts like Bazemore, Plumlee, Thomas, Galloway. How did this team get Lance? Yeah, they did simulate a season, so I'm guessing they traded for him. So we can get Billy Hernan Gomez, who could be a backup center. We can get Derek Favors. But I would like to, ooh, Josh Hart, backup shooting guard. Okay, and we just saved, what, $18 million doing that. Like I said, I would like to sign two max deals in free agency. Now, Plumlee and Galloway, what could we get? Galloway and Thomas, two former Knicks. What is the best trade where I will save cap the most? That's kind of what I'm doing this for. All right, Pelicans will do this. We're also getting a first round pick that will probably be used in a trade. And what could I get for a, uh, a Jinka and Lance Thomas? And I think that's the last trade I'll be making. And the Thunder will give me a first round pick. And is that it with all the bad contracts? It is. Okay, so I could make my pick at two or I could trade the pick. Let's just see if I were to trade the pick. What are some deals we can get? Like, I would want, like, a really good player that I would want a shooting guard. I would want a shooting guard. Like, a cheap... If I can get Devin Booker for the number two pick, that's actually a move because he's cheap. Um, Number two pick. And, okay, I will also give you Tower Dorsey. And I will give you our pick in 2020 because I don't care because we won't be controlling this team. Okay, I will also give you this Cavs pick next year. And, okay, what about if I give you our pick next year? Alright, another first. And one last first from the Thunder. Wow, okay. Um. Alright, alright. Like I, I need either a point guard or shooting guard. That isn't making more than, like, six mil. Because then if I could still get, like, a DeAndre Jordan and Paul George and say we have, like, a Kemba, Devin Booker, or whatever our shooting guard is, Paul George, John Collins, DeAndre Jordan, that is definitely good enough. All right, Donovan Mitchell for the number two pick. Okay, I think we can make this work. I'll give you Tower Dorsey. I will give you this Cavs pick next year. Okay, I will give you this Pelicans pick. There we go. So we just picked up Donovan Mitchell. So there we go. We have our backcourt in Kemba Mitchell. We have a backup in Josh Hart. And... Um, we have Prince, who will be a backup or start. We have Collins, who I would like to start. And we obviously need help at center. So, um, I don't know if that's going to be a reoccurring theme. I might have to trade my picks. Because we only have one year. So, they did sign the second round guy. Uh, Mike Muscala accepted his deal. Well, a year gone. Uh, I do not want you back on the squad. He kind of looks like an older, like a weirder version of David Wade, to be honest with you. Um, okay, I guess trading is broken. Because, yeah, we're not trading the number two pick here. Uh, okay. Will team give me a first? 
the Spurs are this stupid. Okay. Wonderful. Qualifying offers, Malcolm Delaney. Uh, yeah, I don't want to bring him back. So, like I said, Paul George and DeAndre Jordan would be a obvious pickup here. Paul George doesn't have a single offer, so that's perfect. Let's give him that. And we do need a center. So, ooh, DeAndre Jordan did not make it here. Okay. Um, I'm either going to get, like, Ennis Canner and trade him. Or, like, if I can get DeMarcus Cousins, that'd be crazy. Uh, we could try it. And then, if not, let's go after Canner. Because I, I could definitely flip Canner in, like, a first for um like rudy gobert or andre Drummond. so after this day we get paul george and we get canner so let's bring out the lights on everybody here and we get both of them dope cousins goes back to the pelicans obviously so now we're gonna keep paul george like i said i would like to move ennis canner for a better center better rim protector because having canner and to uh john collins as your four and five is not very good so steven adams we can pick up i don't want to give up josh hart because our bench is kind of thin as it is uh, Rudy Gobert, here we go. First round pick. Um, uh, they're picking 21. Sure, I don't care. So, let's see. So, right now we have Kemba, one. Mitchell and Hart, that's two and three. George Prince, that's five players. Collins, that's six. Gobert, that's seven. I need a backup center and a backup power forward slash point guard. And we are set. So, backup center, Zaza or JaVale McGee? What's our mid-level exception? 4.48. Okay, let's try to get Zaza. And then... Hmm. TJ McConnell would be nice. Uh, well, Zaza goes to the Wizards. Wonderful. So that means uh, we got to go heavy after McGee. We actually have a little bit. Of we have 15 mil? Oh, crap. I would have went after Greg Monroe. Sure. Give me Jaweel Okafor. <laughs> um, this is the only time I'll ever sign this man. Just because it's un Like, I just don't want the cap space to go to waste. Or we can get Chris Bosh and then we can trade him. Or he can come off the bench, actually. I'm cool with that. So we get McConnell. Chris Bosh, it looks like accepted another offer. I mean, we're going to have to give you this player option. I'll give you no trade cards, Chris Bosh. Okay, come on, Chris. Let's go. We pick up Chris Bosh. So that is it for the squad. I will see you guys at training camps. This team is set for next year. All right, guys. So training camps, let's send untapped potential to John Collins. Let's send perimeter shooting to Kemba Walker. And let's send just athleticism to... Donovan Mitchell. Maybe he'll just be more of a freak this year. Okay. So we have our we have our starting five. We have our four bench players. Let's see how we do. So let's see what they do. Yep. Bosch, Prince, Hart, McConnell, perfect. We're gonna give 10 to McConnell. We're gonna give 15 to Josh Hart. 20 to Prince. 26 to Bosch. 32 here. 31 there. 35. 35. 34. 32 and then we'll do one more to print so that's gonna be for now i will see you guys at the end of the year so number four not bad number seven number four so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sim with the season hopefully try to win it all and then if we get eliminated or after we win it all whatever we're gonna go to standings and we're gonna see whatever team had the worst record this year and then we're gonna control them and do what we just did with the hawks and yes i'll see you guys at the end of the season all right guys so we're finishing up the season we're about to hit april and we are definitely gonna get the one seed i think i don't think we're gonna blow an eight uh game weed here we would have to lose probably like every game to not make the one seed here and i you know what i'm happy with the season we have kemba we have mitchell we have paul george we have collins we have gobert uh we have a good bench in prince bosh mcconnell josh hart and we'll see what team i'm not gonna look at what team we are controlling till after i get eliminated in the playoffs wherever that time comes so if we win out we'll get 58 wins and we don't win the last game so we go 57 and 25 that tops the eastern conference Luka Doncic, so he was just basically donovan mitchell's replacement in utah and they have Whiteside. Okay, were they able to trade Canner for Whiteside? That's actually kind of interesting. So it's basically, yeah, Luke is Mitchell and Whiteside is, is Gobert in this. So it's going to be helpful if we're doing a lot more Eastern Conference teams. It's going to be hard the third season because free agency is so bad. Like this one, it won't be that hard because free agency is still solid. But next year, it's going to be really bad because free agency sucks. So did we get any Hawks? No, we didn't. Okay, all defense first team. No Hawks no hawks at all wow okay well we still had the one seed we are taking on the chicago bulls in round one who drafted kevin knox who i'm big in this draft i really like him i think he's gonna be a very good player paul george and kevin walker both average 20 plus mitchell 17 bosh off the bench 14.8 nine and a half uh times two for gobert 11 and eight and a half for collins there's prince hart and mcconnell here were our team stats we were fifth in points per game second in allowed points per game and third in point differential all right let's do this i think it's we should make it to the finals no matter what. Okay, it's 1-1 one, one here. 2-1 one us. 3-1. One. 
And 4 1. Okay, so we're taking on Milwaukee here. Did they edit anybody new? Uh, Joe Ingles. That's about it. Um, they do have Jabari Parker still. So game one, we win. Okay. One by nine. Paul George ups 25. Game two, we also win. Game three, we win. And game four, we don't win. A nice gentleman sweep. How you doing? Okay, so we're taking on the Sixers. Ben Simmons had a 31 point triple double. Did not shoot a three pointer though. And they have added Avery Bradley. That's kind of scary. Thad Young. Or that's Trey Young. Okay. Willie Reed with Sean Holmes. Game one. We do win now by 15. Kemba drops 31 and 11. Okay. Game two. We lost. Okay. Kemba drops 34. Kemba's okay, killing it. Game three. We're down 2 1. You're kidding me. Mitchell drops 27. Do not go down 3. God damn it. We've lost in five. Ugh. Well, there is nothing we can do, so let's advance to our next team. Well, Hawks, it was nice knowing you. We built a pretty sick team, but apparently we can't beat a 7 seed and Sixers team after we did so well. So, our next team is the Phoenix Suns. It is not the um, Miami Heat. Kind of happy we didn't trade for Devin Booker now, because that would have kind of thrown us back a little bit. So, let's control the Phoenix Suns. I'll show you guys what team won it all, and then we'll head into the offseason. So, it is the Sixers versus the Warriors, and the Warriors give them a gentleman's sweep. Draymond Green, I've never seen that as one finals MVP. I have never seen that. All right, so Jeff Watery, you better have... Okay, well, let's look at the stats for this team this year. So, we have Devin Booker, TJ Warren, Troy Daniels. Who did you guys draft last year? Who? Kyrie Thomas? Oh, God. And you have Mo Wagner. Jesus. We have Dragon Bender, who's going to get traded. Alfred Payton. Okay. At least we have... Jackson, who might get traded. Devin Booker is a free agent, I believe. So, with draft lottery, we're going to have the number one odds at the number one pick. Please give it to us, but it's the sun, so we're going to get four. Hey, we get two, just like last year. Staff signing Jeff Hornacek. They fired, uh, They brought him back. We're going to fire him. We are going to hire Nate McMahon. Let's get Ty Lue if we can actually get him. I've never rolled with Ty Lue before, and it's kind of interesting to see what he could do. Let's get uh, Ryan Johnson here, and as our trainer, let's get a better trainer. Uh, let's get Sean Navarro, so we at least get two trading camps. So, we pick up everybody, dope, and let's go to the NBA draft now. So, once again, I I mean, like, there is a good draft. Like, I could draft RJ Barrett or, like, Zion Williamson or Cameron Reddish, but, like, I don't know if we could just trade it, but we gotta trade. Honestly, I'm gonna be trading these top five guys in contracts. They're just not very good, and I wanna be big players in free agency. Honestly, Kemba showed me a lot. I could bring him back, but I could just get him and then uh, trade him. So Atlanta, that was very generous of you. Okay, well, we left them and their GM is just not very smart, it looks like. Plumlee and them. Okay, I'm not going to try to do any trades with teams that I've controlled. So I didn't realize that was the Hawks till after I accepted the trade. So from now on, I'm not trading with any old teams. Just I'm going to stray away from them. So Alex Lynn, what could we get? We can get... Nope, nope, nope. Hawks, stop being so stupid, please. Uh, we can get Spencer Dinwiddie, but he's making 13 mil a year. JaVale McGee. All right, let's get uh, Billy Hernan Gomez. So, we have the second pick. Now, what could I get for Kyrie Thomas and my TJ Warren? Avery Bradley, Zach Levine, Miko Bridges. Could I get, like, DeAndre Aiden? Probably not. Joyce Randall. I would like to get, like, a cheaper center. I mean, like, I don't mind going after, like, white center free agency. Okay. So, there's not a lot of good small forwards in this free agency class. And power forwards yeah so let's go after a power forward right now so what's like a i would love to go after chris Stops, but he's oh we did get a deal um would they do the second pick tj warren for chris Stops? and i will give you Kyrie thomas i like i'll do dragon bender but he's not under contract blakeney and i will also give you mo wagner and our pick next year unprotected for chris Stops. Damn it. Okay, we're not getting Chris Stops. Uh, Draymond Green could be interesting. Could we do TJ Warren and our pick next year for Draymond Green? Or, and I will also throw you, let's see. I will give you Mo Wagner. I will also give you Antonio Blakeney. There we go. So we picked up Draymond without giving up the number two pick. So Draymond's going to be a nice piece to have, and he's only making 18 mil. So Kyrie Thomas... I mean, do I make the second pick here and take a small... I don't know. We could get Trey Young. Could get Oladipo. Like, obviously, we have Devin Booker. We could get Russell, but he's making so much money. Hmm. Could I pick up Markel Fultz? Oh, my God. Of course, he's not under contract. Ugh. Like, what's the best player not making more than 20 mil? Because I would like to go after one guy in free agency. Like, 20 mil that I'm okay with trading my pick to. So, Draymond is one of them. 
Uh, Al Horford, he's making 15 mil a year. That's not bad. We could we could go the Al Horford route just for now, but is he really worth the second overall pick? Uh, Gary Harris. All right, all right. Um, Al Horford. Do I really want to do the second pick? Do you have any picks? For the, all right, Al Horford in the sixth pick for the second pick. And I will throw you our second round pick. And I'll throw you Kyrie Thomas because I don't—he's not gonna play for us. And I'll throw you uh, this Heat first. And I'll throw you. Well, like you really value him this much? Okay, so we did that. So we get our center next year at Al Horford. Now I'm gonna make the pick at six. Probably gonna be a bench player. I'll see you guys at uh, rookie signings with my pick. All right, so I actually like my player at six. That he's gonna be our sixth man or one of the bench players. It's Romeo Langford. I was obviously gonna take like. Uh, Reddish, Barrett, or Williamson, one of the three if they were there, but they didn't. So now we have our center now, Horford, and we got to go big after free. So, okay, we're going to bring back everybody here, but I'm probably going to trade Chris and um, Bender when the time comes. So Devin Booker uh, does not have a deal from anybody yet in free agency. So obviously I'm going to throw a contract at LeBron. I mean, I never get him, but it'd be cool. Okay, so now realistically... We could go after Kemba, but I the Hawks are trying to bring him back. I, I get why. So we're we are gonna need a shooting guard or a point guard, excuse me. We could offer Jimmy Butler a deal. I doubt he will accept it. Um, we'll try it, uh, and then he can always be traded. Like LeBron, we're not gonna get him. Tobias Harris would be an interesting power forward. Obviously, we don't need money people here. Okay, I'm gonna go after Tobias, and we'll see what we want to do here. So please tell me one of one of these guys accepted it. God damn it! All right, so nobody accepted our deal. Tobias, yep, they all go back to their former teams. Not surprised there. So, Devin Booker has a deal right now from the Dallas Mavericks. That Devin Booker and the Dallas Mavericks would be kind of cool. But I want to get somebody before that. So, can we get Jokic? Come on, Jokic. You know you want to come to the Suns. Or Whiteside. And one of them can be worked in a trade. Just please let me do this. And that's our last deal we can do. So, we got Whiteside. Okay, okay. We are going to renounce the rights on Daniels and Payton for now. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to trade... Uh, Chris and Bender, because I think they're both not very good. Or what can I get for Bender? Because this is 5 mil. This is like basically 6 mil cleared up, and we don't have to... We can definitely... Okay, we can get Mikel... Okay, okay. Well, looking at our team, we... Okay, looking at our team, we don't have a point guard. We have two shooting guards in Booker and Langford. We have a small forward in Jackson. We have a power forward in Green, and we have a, two centers. So, I could definitely look for... Like... Uh, what could I get for Bender and Chris? Could I get, like, a starting point guard for these guys? I don't know, honestly. Let's see. Let's see. Tony Parker, Sharif O'Neal. Uh, that's not much good. Okay. If we looked at the Dallas Mavericks, or we could get Dennis Schroeder here. Fultz would be crazy, but I feel like it's going to be a lot more. Like, if I did Bender and Chris for, and like, Devon Reed and my pick next year in 2021 for Fultz and another first. And another first. Okay, yeah, we're not getting faults. Okay. What about... We could try Schroeder, but Schroeder's making 15 mil, so it's really not the smartest thing. What about Jamal Murray for Bender and Chris? Plus this pick next year. Plus this pick next year. There we go. So pick up Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray's going to be our point guard next year. So we should be able to get Whiteside now. Yes, we can. Do we have to read out the rights on these guys? We do. Okay, so we're going to get Whiteside. There we go. Uh, Jokic goes to the Nuggets, okay. Now, one more day, we gotta offer Booker 25 mil, so we accept it, but we're not actually gonna accept it. So, there we go, we're gonna leave him like that. Okay, now, we're gonna bring back Devin Booker for whatever. Uh, he's gonna take a deal from the Mavericks, and we match it. Okay, so now, what we could do is we could move out. Oh no, we have Draymond Green at power forward, I'm stupid. Okay, so now, what we could do, um... Do I wanna get a better small forward? Like, could I pick up Andrew? I don't know. I mean, like, we could probably upgrade a point guard. We could probably upgrade a point guard if we're being honest here. All right. What point guard could I get for Whiteside? Conley? Is that a huge upgrade over Jamal Murray? Not really. Hmm. Drew Holiday, though. Kind of like Drew Holiday, just for the defense. Blake Griffin. All right. We're going to pick up We're gonna pick up Drew Holiday for Whiteside. We are going to roll with um, freaking Al Horford this year. So what we have here is we have po uh, two point guards. Two shooting guards, that's four, five, six, seven, eight. We need a backup forward, and we are set with the squad. So, could we get Jonas Urebko? Um, Cephalosha is a decent defender. 
All right, Cephalosha or Yurebko will offer deals too. Can we get Cephalosha? Do we get Yurebko? We do. Okay. So I'll see you guys at training camps. All right. So we're at training camps here. Let's send. Hmm. Let's send perimeter shooting to Drew Holiday. Let's send also perimeter shooting to Josh Jackson. And let's send. Hmm. Let's send athleticism to Al Horford because he's getting up there. Yeah, it's not looking good for him. He's regressing. He's already in 83, but I trust him this year. If he can get me like, what did he average last year? He averaged 10 and 6 and 5, as long as it's like the defense, man. So like him and Green are really good defenders. So it's Holiday, Booker, Jackson, Green, Horford, Murray, Hernan Gomez. Yeah, perfect. Okay, Yurebko, you're going to get 10 minutes. Langford, you're going to get, uh, or Hernan Gomez, you're going to get 16. We're going to do 20 here, 28 to Murray, 31 there. 35 here, 33, 35 here, and then we'll do 32 here. Okay, that's going to be for me now. I'll see you guys in the next season. It's going to be very hard since we're in the Western Conference to make it all the way, but let's see, and then hopefully we can win it all, and then hopefully the next thing we do is in the Eastern Conference. All right, guys, LeBron James wins MVP. Zion Williamson wins Rookie of the Year. Will Barton, Sixth Man of the Year? Okay. I wonder who's their point guard. Well, who did we trade? Didn't we trade, like, Bender and Chris? That was for the Jamal Murray trade. Logan White, Coach of the Year. We went 43-39. Ugh. I, probably, I should not have used the Al Horford experiment. That was stupid of me. Draymond Green gets on bay third team. And he also gets on bay all defensive second team. I think Langford got all rookie first team or second team. What did he get? Uh, Langford got all rookie first team. Yeah, Al Horford's an 84. Uh, he performed. Actually, he wasn't even that bad this year, to be honest with you. Um, so we are taking on the two-seeded Warriors in round one. Woo. I mean, we could pull off the upset. We did take Draymond from them, and you, you yeah, we could. Uh, Devin Booker did pretty well, same with Josh Jackson. There's Murray's numbers. He did better than Holiday, kind of off the bench. Uh, Lankford, Horford, Draymond, Hernan Gomez, Yurebko, and yeah, so team stats. We were, let's see, 11 did points per game and allowed points per game. Our defense with Josh Jackson, Al Horford, Draymond Green, and Drew Holiday in the starting lineup, we weren't top, like, 10 in defense. Okay, yeah, that's some BS. Well, we're taking on the Warriors here. We do win game one by 10. Okay, okay. 1-1. One, one. They beat us by 15. Could we pull off the upset? Game 2, we lost by 8. Mm, game 3 or 4, we win. Okay. All right, game 5 here in Golden State. If we pull off this upset, this would be nuts, but it doesn't look like we are. Oh, we get blown out by 28. Game 6, could we force a game 7? Come on, come on, let's force a game 7. Wow, that second quarter wasn't the best, and we get eliminated. Well, all right, please tell me we're controlling an Eastern Conference team for finally so I can win one. Oh, my God, the Jazz won 22 games. There's no way an Eastern Conference team topped that. Okay, we're in the we're in the Western Conference again, and they don't have Donovan Mitchell either, so we are screwed. This is not where I want to be. Uh, yeah, right here. Okay, so Jazz. Hmm, there we go, and let's uncontrol the Suns. It was a good run, Phoenix. We ran into the Warriors in round one. Not much you could do. I wish we were better throughout the regular season, so we weren't going to have to face them in round one. But we did, and the Rockets woo, beat the Bucks in seven games in the finals. All right, so looking at their statistics here, they do have, okay, they signed Kemba, which is nice, so he could be a nice shape piece. They do have Luka Doncic. They do have Colin Sexton, Mature Maker, which is, I'm pretty sure, Thon Maker's brother maybe i'm wrong moses brown who was just drafted okay yeah they clearly don't have gobert because we had gobert in uh atlanta so let's go to the lottery here and we will hopefully you better have your first round pick this year dude oh my god okay they do and we get number one okay uh do we still have quinn schneider uh, dwayne casey's here let's get quinn uh uh dwayne casey let's fire andrew griffin I mean, there is going to be, like, no good free agents. Like, Draymond Green might make it a free agency. I might get him, and then, like, I could trade him. But it's not going to look the best. Do we? Okay, so we don't pick up any of these guys. So, Scott Brooks. I mean, uh, is Quinn Schneider here? Like, what happened to Quinn Schneider? Uh, we could just sort it by this. Schneider, Schneider, Schneider. Or, okay. Um, where's Schneider? Schneider, you are not here, aren't you? And you're not here. Okay. Well, that's weird. So we do pick up Scott Brooks as our head coach and the trainers and the the GM, which is like, F you, Matt. You, you, you're not getting... We, you were the worst team in the league. So we do have the first overall pick. Now we... Okay. I kind of want to see what can I get for the first overall pick in Kelly Oubre, who's making 14 mil a year. 
Eric Bledsoe with DeAndre Jordan. I mean, that would get us a good point guard that we could trade, or this would get us a really good setter. But he's making so much money. 35 mil. RJ Barrett, Marcus Morris, Paul George. I I would do this trade, but I'm not making any trades with old teams. DeAndre Russell, Oladipo. I mean, Oladipo wouldn't be bad. We do have Doncic, though. Now, if we move Doncic around, does he go up? He goes up at small forward. So Doncic is going to be our small forward. So getting that shooting guard wouldn't be bad. Getting Oladipo, but for the first pick for Oladipo, I mean, were they going to give me anything else that young? You know what? Oladipo is going to be better right away than anybody we draft. So let's just draft, or let's get Oladipo. And we are probably going to trade Thad Young. So Thad Young. What could I get for Thad Young and Dwayne Bacon? Uh, trading is broken. Wonderful. Thad Young and Bacon. And I will give a Hawks first round pick. Jesus, these Hawks first round picks. We we destroyed their future. We could get Brogdon. Could we, we need a center. I mean, if we could look at DeAndre Jordan... DeAndre Jordan, where are you at? Where are you at? Are you an 88? Where is... Oh, no. You're making more than 35 mil. Okay. There you are. All right. DeAndre Jordan for Young and Bacon. I would have to throw in John Petty, who's a shooting guard. He's... Eh, no. He's going to be pretty good for Ellington. I will give you... Can I give you any other player instead? Nope. I will give you a first from the Hawks. And they agree to that. Okay. So, we're probably going to have no cap space in free agency, but we have our center... We have our small forward. We have our shooting guard. We have our point guard. We have Sexton. We have Burke. Yeah, okay. So we can do a lot. And yeah, so I didn't make one draft pick throughout this video. I mean, th that was the strategy I took. We're going to bring back everybody here. Tony Snell. Ugh. All right. So let's just see what free agency is looking like. I don't know if we're going to be any make any plays. Is Draymond here? Oh, Kemba's a free agent. Oh, God. Um, Do we not have bird rights? Oh, I don't care. We have to bring him back. Draymond is here, but he's probably going to go back to the Suns. And I don't feel like risking it. So... Tower Johnson. I mean, these guys could be used in trades. That's why I kind of want to bring them back. As long as I can bring back Kemba. Okay, can we bring back everybody? Uh, let's re the rights on Jerry and Grant and Festus Azili. Maker and uh, Shitsu. I kind of want to get back. And uh, Trey Burke, we can honestly let walk. So, yeah, we're good there. Okay, so we get everybody back. And then the restricted guys. And then I got trades to make. So, I will see you guys. This seems actually in a better position than I thought. I don't know how this team only won 22 games. But I'll see you guys um, when I got trades to do. Okay, guys. So we're ready to make some trades now. And, yeah, my phone just won't stop going. I had a tweet that kind of blew up uh, the other day. It was like, you should... It's it's on my Twitter. It's at like 25,000 likes. It's like actually crazy. My phone keeps lagging from it. So we have our point guard, small forward, center, shooting guard. Honestly, we just need that power forward. So Sexton, I don't mind running the second unit. Either with Tyler Johnson, honestly. So they could be the guards of the bench. So what could I get for maybe Exum? We could maybe move Moses Brown because he'll probably have trade value. Or like shit too okay what can we do for we'll try shit too and snow because this is like 19 mil we could take back skyla basier no one's in the well hmm okay what about if we did snow and moses brown what could we get hmm trey young jabal that is perfect that is a perfect person i want jabari parker welcome yeah i'm cool with this welcome to the utah jazz so now we have one two Honestly, possibly three players right there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine good players. I'm ready to start this season. I'm ready. Hopefully, we can be good. I don't know. We, we had a really good team with the Suns last year, and we got bounced in the first round. But we'll see what happens this year. And, yeah, we can auto-generate because this is the last season. And let's go to untapped potential. Let's send, hmm, Kemba. You, better, you were good for me on the Hawks. Please be good for me on the Jazz here. So, let's send... Hmm. I'm trying to think. Let's send Perimeter D to Doncic, so he gets better at that. Let's send Perimeter Shooting to Ola... Oh, we only had one camp. Well, that's embarrassing. Okay, guys, so let's see the team. So Perfect, Sexton, Exum, uh, Shitu, and then uh, I want to kind of play Perry 10 minutes a game. How tall is Shitu? 6'9". That's kind of small. Should I play Maker over him? No, we're going to... We'll play that. It's okay. So Perry, you're going to get like 10 minutes... We'll give 17 there. We're going to do 19 there. 27 there. 32. 32. 35. 34. 34, actually. 33. 33. 33. All right. Let's see how we do. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Hopefully, we're good. We're four and four. Okay. We'll see. All right. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Hopefully, this is the year we can make it to the finals, at least. All right, guys. A 50-win season. 15-32. I'm hoping we can surprise it and, and win it all. We... Lonzo Ball on the first team. Have I ever seen that? 
maybe. I don't know. That's actually kind of surprising. Uh, no other... What team are we the Jazz? Okay. We switched teams so much. Oh, Jordan Aldi. It's the first team. He's still an 87 and 32. It's not bad. Draymond has gone down to an 87 as well. Okay. So, Boston. Well, yeah, Whiteside's pretty good. I probably should have chose Whiteside over Drummond. That was stupid of me. I just kind of like... I usually get Whiteside a lot. So, I was like, let me try things up. And I was like, eh. Maybe should have gone uh, with... Uh, what's his name? Whiteside. So, we're taking on Houston in round one. Thanks. We couldn't take on Phoenix or LA. Well, Phoenix is pretty good. Uh, at least it's not the Warriors. All right. At least it's not the Warriors. Jabari Parker was our waiting score. Definitely did not expect that. Bunch of 16 games from the point uh, shooting and small forward. Uh, Jordan, not bad. And the bench was like shit too. You were kind of shit. Yeah. Uh, basically, your last name. Petty, you were pretty bad. XM, you were pretty bad. Sexton, you were very good off the bench. So, actually, let's check out the team stats. It's the final year. Uh, points per game. We were 10th. A lot of points per game, we were 6th, and point differential, we were 7th. So, let's do this. Round 1 against the Rockets, can we beat them? Game 1, we do win, we win by 30. Harden dropped 16, we shot 4 for 20, Paul 4 for 13, let's go. Game 2, we won. Oh my god, we won by 29, Jabbar drops 34. Game 3, 2-1, 3-1, 3-2. Yes, we won in 6, let's go. We're taking on a 7-seeded Spurs team who upsetted the 2-seeded uh, Timberwolves. They have added Jonathan Simmons back, Brooke Lopez, and everyone's the well, Lonnie Walker. You guys watch the Raptors realistic rebuild. He's a beast. And game one, we win. Game two, we lost. I think this team, okay, well, we're down 2 1. 2 2. 3 2 us. Game seven, oh, God. At least it's in Utah. Come on. Come on. Let's go. We should win. Let's go. We won by 14. Kemba drops 20. Quad drops 24. And we got to face the Warriors now. So let's see how this goes. Game one at the Oracle. Who knows? Ugh. We can, this is going to be a tough series. Oh my god, we won by 10. 44.4th quarter. I honestly think the Suns team last year was better. And it's actually going to shock me if we beat the Warriors here. Come on, if we can win both games at the Oracle, that's clutch. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kemba drops 32-9. and nine. We're up 3-0. I was just like, let me simulate a game. We're up 3-0. No way we both 3-0 lead. Oh my god, we swept the Warriors. Okay. But we go to 7 against the Spurs, but get uh, swept against the Warriors. So we're taking on the Cavs. 36-year-old LeBron. Love, Bridges, Teague. Osman Hood. Let's see how this goes. Game one, we lost by 11. Okay. Game two, we won. Game three, we lost. Game four, we win. Game five, we're down three to two. All right. Back to Utah. They're the, they have home court advantage. Come on. We got to force a game seven. Got to force a game seven. We do. Jabari drops 26. Old Debo drops 25. And here we go. Game seven on the road in Cleveland. Good first quarter. I'm fine with that second quarter. Not a good third quarter. And we win by six. Let's go. I'm just happy we won one title out of the three teams we did in the third and final year. So, yeah, that is going to be it for me. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the worst of first rebuild and overall the double upload today. A lot of long videos. This one's probably going to hit 30 plus minutes. And the Raptors one was like 40 something minutes. So, yeah, crazy stuff there. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the grind. It's going. Uh, probably next double upload will be sometime during this week. I don't think I'm going to wait till next Saturday to up double upload again. So, yeah, that's good for me. Drop a like if you guys do enjoy these type of videos. I love you guys. See you guys next video. Peace. Check out my Twitter. Link in the description. Please. We just wanna know